yes, bedrooms, I think by default become the spare room where all of the family photos and the excess furniture, the things that you've tired of in your primary bedrooms goes. Fortunately, my client hired me to decorate this guest bedroom because she wanted it to feel like an extension of the rest of her home. The space started with builder beige walls. We had ordered these two twin beds that were fairly simple actually in their design. Had a window treatment made, but otherwise the furniture really were pieces that they already had. So it didn't have an aesthetic yet. It was just pieces that happened to sort of fill a need temporarily. The mural was our jumping off point. Fortunately, my client was up for something that was a little bit different here, and I fell in love with this mural. It's based on a 16th century oil painting that's been recolored in a slightly purplish colorway, so it does introduce a little bit of a color tone. And I loved it because I thought, in a guest bedroom, you want some sort of art, but it shouldn't necessarily be overly personal. And this was really the answer to that. So when she was on board, I was very happy about that. We were able to incorporate lucite switches that let the pattern flow behind them and then the custom air vent that we were able to wrap in the mural paper lets that pattern continue again and just really makes it a much more custom seamless look. And that really set the stage for this combination of high contrast, a tonal color palette, but with a bit of these old world elements like the European type bedding and the over dyed rug. That sort of detail is what we wanted to incorporate. Twin beds are a great solution for guest bedrooms. I love to use it because it is more versatile for a variety of guest situations. And I just find too in a space like this, it really fills in the room nicely. It does create a little bit more traffic flow as well around a bed. So for a room of this size, it actually made the most sense because it allowed us to also do a generously sized shiz. For me, the most important part of a guest bedroom is luxurious bedding and crisp white sheets are the best place to start. And so we sort of built off of that. We wanted to incorporate this gorgeous silk velvet coverlet that we had found. It's in this deep burgundy color. It does have a very south of France kind of aesthetic, very romantic, but we wanted to counter it with something that was a little bit more structured. So by pairing the coverlet with a bright white bedspread, it adds a little bit of that modern crispness and also helps to anchor the Designers Guild pillows that are on the bed, which are also like a piece of art against this wall. I think the key when you're doing this twin bed layout for a guest bedroom is to do an oversized dresser. So a small nightstand would just dwarf the furniture. You want something big and substantial, and that single light also is functional for both beds. Behind the nightstand, we decided to put a leaning floor mirror. And this is a great trick even for a small space because the leaning angle does help to sort of accentuate the space and it also reflects the mural on the opposite wall. We really tried to curate a collection of lighting for this space that felt artful and interesting and used really unique materials. So the beautiful alabaster sconces from Union Lighting have a lovely subtle look to them, but they still feel more decorated than glass. And then this floor lamp coordinates with them in brass as well. And I love that it articulates for reading on the chaise lounge and it just feels like a piece when you first enter the room. I love that my client said to me, when she's coming and going from the principal bedroom, she catches a glimpse of the vignette in the window every day, and it just brings her so much happiness to know that this room is properly finished for guests. And even if she's not the one sleeping in this room, it's added to the completeness of her home.